This is a review of Active Pieces. Now, Active Pieces is an alternative to Zapier where you can connect various apps together to automate your tasks. Now, this tool is relatively easy to use, but it is a newer tool, so there might not be as many apps available, but I'm gonna dive into the tool so you can take a look at it and see whether or not this is a tool that you should be investing in over Zapier. So let's get started. Okay, so as of this recording, there are a total of 153 available apps that you can connect. I see a lot of popular ones like Asana, Bonjoro, Airtable, Box. They even have a handful of lifetime deals as well, like Brilliant Directories. They also have, I think I saw Nifty as well, and they even have TidyCal. There's a handful of social media apps as well, like Twitter, YouTube. Now, 153 is definitely not as much as what Zapier has. So Zapier has close to 7,000 apps that you can connect together. But keep in mind, Active Pieces is a much newer tool. It's also much more affordable. Now, their automations are called flows, and this is a list of all of the flows that I've created. Now, to create a new flow, just click on this button. Now, you can start from scratch or choose from their various templates. Most of the templates that they have integrate OpenAI, which I think is pretty neat. You can send a ChatGPT welcome email to your new MailChimp subscribers. You can generate engaging tweet content using ChatGPT. You can also write long SEO articles with ChatGPT on WordPress, which I think is really, really neat. You can even connect Claude as well. So a lot of AI integrations here. So to start from scratch, you can click here and you first need to select a trigger. So click here and select from various triggers. So maybe our trigger can be one of the Google apps. So maybe it can be a Google Sheet. So whenever you update a Google Sheet, this flow will get triggered. So you need to click on New Row and connect your Google Sheet. I already connected one earlier. Choose your spreadsheet and choose your sheet. Okay, so my trigger is connected. Now you need to click on this plus to select the next step. And you can select any of these apps. Maybe we want to connect ChatGPT. So you can click on Open AI. And there's various actions. So you can ask ChatGPT anything you want. Ask the assistant, generate an image, text to speech, transcribe audio, translate audio, and so on. So select your action, then add your connection. I already added OpenAI. Now you do need ChatGPT Plus to use this because you do need to add your API in here. So once you add your API, you can select your model and they have tons of models that you can choose from and you add your question right here. So this is how it looks like. So let me go back to one that I created earlier. Now this flow starts whenever I add a new row to this Google Sheet. Now there are two columns, an idea column and a guidelines column. So whenever I add a new row, Active Pieces will ask ChatGPT this question. So write a blog title about this idea, which is the last row here. And it says, and make sure it complies with these guidelines. Now the guidelines are the second column and it says respond with the title without any quotation marks around it. So it will generate a title for me. And then the next step is to ask ChatGPT again. And then it says, write a blog post about this idea and make sure it complies with these guidelines. Only respond with the text of the post. And then it will create a post with the text that it generates. And then after it does that, it will send me an email letting me know that the blog post has been created in my WordPress website, okay? So if you are working with a team, maybe a content writer, a VA, they can add blog ideas in here and then you will get notified by Active Pieces that a new blog is added to your website or maybe you can go in here to add ideas and guidelines and send an email to your VA or your content writer to go in, edit it, and then publish it. So let me show you how that looks like in my WordPress website. So how to use essential oils, that is 
this idea right here. And the guidelines is write three paragraphs, make it general and easy to read, and active pieces created this post right here how to use essential oils now i didn't do anything here it automatically created this text for me within a matter of seconds and it all started with this google spreadsheet by adding this row now let me show you another flow i'm going to go back and i created this one google sheet ideas to wordpress posts so this one is a two-step Flow, very very simple um, so whenever I add a new row here it will create a new post okay so this is another great flow that you can use if you have a VA so if you have any new ideas you can write your idea right here and then offer some guidelines so for the three ways to improve your health um, you can see here there is this first step and then the second step it will create a post inside my WordPress website now let me go back and three ways to improve your health and the guideline, the text under this guideline column is added right here. Okay, so then you can go and share this with your writer and they will be able to follow your guidelines to write a blog article on your website. So very, very simple. Now let me go back. Now they are sunsetting their chatbots. Um, and then this one are the runs. So you can see the status of all of your flows to make sure that they are properly being succeeded. Or if any of them failed, you will know by looking at this list and you can see when it started and when it finished. And you can view all of the apps that you've connected with active pieces. You can see the status of them as well. And if you have a team, you can add your team um, by clicking right here and invite your team, your content writers, your marketers, your VAs, anyone you want. Now, again, this is a newer tool and they do have a community where you can ask any of your questions, interact with others as well. So they recently connected uh, Go High Level, which I'm very excited for. They even connected Google Gemini as well. So it's nice to see them integrating a lot of AI into this tool. You can also ask them to add additional pieces into the tool. Um, you can check out discussions and so on. So this community is pretty active as you can see. So the support is there if you ever do get stuck when creating your flows. So should you get this tool? Well, you should get this tool if you do have any of these tools here. If you are using any of these tools and you want to um, automate any of the tasks between these tools, definitely get this. I think it is relatively easy to use. If you don't want to be spending a fortune on Zapier, I think Active Pieces is a great alternative. But again, only if you have um, the available apps. If it doesn't have your app, then you may want to hold off until they add it into this tool before you go ahead and invest in a subscription. Okay, so this is my review of Active Pieces. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.